Hello, my lovelies. And you join me here in the mighty Derrick. And I'm off to pick up an old friend and bring him back home. Right, let's go. The YouTube channel's not any good, but he's a nice guy. Sorry, Mr. Boaty. To make YouTube videos with... Oh, you had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. Right, let's see how Derek starts today. Since we um, bridged the math... Starting better, but still not right. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that was the best yet. Oh, oh. Yep, I think we're okay. Jolly good. Let's go. There's Miss Boo, Betty Boo, Betty Boo, just doing the do. Shison, wet leg, still looking quite clean, which is nice. Policeman Badger, why do I always feel guilty when I see a policeman? Not even Catholic. Now, fortunately, I've been saved the walk because the lovely Nikki is heading down the hill a bit later on, about two o'clock, and it's going to give me a lift. So I'll pop down in Derrick now, swap the cars over, and then go down with Nikki to bring Derrick back. It's not that I object to the walk per se. I mean, it's downhill for a start. It's just that it's a really awkward walk because after the first couple of hundred yards, there's no pathway or anything and you can't walk on the road unless you want to die. And have a look off to the left. You're trudging through bloody knee-deep grass verges with discarded socks and wellingtons and condoms and dead animals. It's no fun. Much better to get a lift. Here we go. So here we are at uh, Ladywood Garage, classic car specialists and um, all around jolly nice chaps. And if we scroll around here, we can see a Stigbert who looks to be still all in one piece. And a bit of a change there. The wheel is upright and pointing in the right direction. <clears throat> so, uh, job number one is to go and pay. That's the hard bit. 
And then we're going to need to get a, a jump pack. Was that like that before? Hmm. Must have been. Don't remember that. Uh, job number two will be to... Oh, look at the state of that seat. Gosh, that's got worse, if anything. Job number two will be to get a uh, jump pack on him and get him started. And then job number three will be to get him home and assess everything else that's going to need to be done. And have slightly fewer wheels in him. <clears throat> Noisy boys. I've got, I've got no idea what I'm going to face in terms of the dash, what warning lights are going to be on, not a clue. We'll have to just deal with that as we get to it. Nice old pre -land. Gosh, it's been a while. Oh, I need to glue that back on. Oh, glove box open. Ashtray open. Why have they been in the bloody ashtray? How flat are we? Oh, totally flat, not a sausage. Right. Need the keys, don't I? Because the alarm is probably going to go tits. Can I do this one-handed? Nice and clean under there, isn't it? Still. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, I tell you what. That's not going to help. That is a slightly smaller battery than it really ought to be. But, uh, yeah, obviously it's the one that's on when I bought there. We might need to treat Stiggy here to, uh, to a new battery. Um, okay, right, I'm going to have to put you down while I get all of the, uh, the doings attached. Told you. <clears throat> right. Here we go then. Oh. Back into a decent place. Stir the petrol. Right. Oh, looks good. Three, two, one. And we're off. Now, what warning lights have I got on? Handbrake door open normal, and then I've got EML, and unsurprisingly, I've got airbag light on. Well, I would have, wouldn't I? <clears throat> um, well, we'll get the uh, we'll get the diagnostics on when we get home and see what, if anything, we can do about that. Uh, okay, we're up and running. Uh, I'll get all disconnected and get the bonnet shut. Okay, here we are in Stigbert and the next job is to manoeuvre out of here without stalling the bloody thing. God, I've forgotten what this felt like. Don't stall it, Boaty, don't stall it. Where's the accelerator pedal? Oh, there we are. That's a good place for it. Okay, so now warning lights, I've got airbag and EML. Now the engine management was on anyway. Oh, nearly stalled the bugger. Get those revs up, boy.
Yeah, the email was on anyway. We know we can turn that off. And um, yeah, the airbag light was always gonna be on, wasn't it? So other than that, well, that feels weird. Was that like that? Ah, uh, well. How far that is the clock? Oh, clock's only an hour out. Right, let's go and tuck the other one over there and then we'll get home. Right then, Stig, but let's get you home. Preferably without stalling you. Oh, the poor seat. Look at that. Oh, dear. Oh, well. At least we've got the one bit sorted. Okay, here we go. okay. He's okay, my lovelies. Yeah, steering feels good. He's, um, oh, you didn't really just pull out there, did you, you silly ass of a camper? Right into a shed load of oncoming traffic. Dear me. Yeah, if it feels okay. Um, steering wheel is pointing in the dead ahead position when we're driving dead ahead, that's nice. Uh, seems to be tracking absolutely fine. Um, yeah. There's no, there's no pulling, there's no vibration, there's no, no, no nothing, he's, he's driving nicely. Oh, the ABS light has just come on. Oh, that would figure, wouldn't it? It's had a new ABS sensor. Bloody dashboard attending a like a Christmas tree. Um, we need to get the battery charged, get diagnostics on. I'm not gonna go straight home, I'm just gonna have a whiz around the block. Oh, get a bit of air through him. Now I'll just whiz him around the block and then we'll get home, get the trickle charger on. Brakes still feel good. Sounds nice. 80,206 miles. Um, not done a lot of miles still. You could do with some go go juice. Let's get some charge in the battery and.
much isn't as heavy as I remember. Neither is it light. If you're wondering, we are still fully legal. Car's MOT'd. It's been taxed all the way through. God, that's been a few quid, hasn't it? Probably paid 140 quid in tax while all this has been going on. Lycra clad cyclists. Some of my colleagues would like them to be put up against the wall and summarily shot. the ABS light is on. But, warning lights and ripped seat apart, he's driving great. What a fabulous car. So, just need to get the airbags sorted, get the seat repaired, and it's as good as new, if not better. Oh, and get the battery charged, obviously. get all of the wheels out of him and get him washed. Oh, I need to get the aircon regassed at some point, I'd forgotten about that. Uh, the aircon was tested and it's fine, it's all good. Well, the system is all good, it simply needs regassing in order to operate. It's fully operant, operative, operable, you know, choose any of those words. the mighty V6 Raw. Rather missed that. What the bloody hell? <laughs> Fabulous. Welcome home, Stiggy. How is the handbrake on this? I don't remember. Oh, feels good. Right, let's get some diagnostics. Welcome to window cam. I figured it made sense to drive the car around and offload the wheels rather than trape the dirty thing through the house so uh, that's the next job again trying not to stall
okay well that put enough juice in the battery to turn him off and start him again uh, I'll put it on trickle charge see if we can salvage the battery and next job uh, get the diagnostics on I think see what we can do about the the lights uh, I can definitely turn the EML off I'm not so confident about the others but um, I guess the main thing is he's operational as a car again and he's driving fantastically so you know that's got to be a win hasn't it let's try him with the old King Boland before we uh, before we break uh, the piece gun out and then all right, let's have a look. Read for hot code. Okay, that's the same fault code that we were getting before. So, let's clear that. Okay, that's that gone. Okay, well that's the EML off, but obviously I've still got ABS and airbag. Um, I don't think I can do anything about the airbag. Um, that's going to be an airbag ECU job. Um, ABS, I don't know, maybe P-Scan can have a look at that. He's had a bit of a hoover. Looking rather nice. Noisy boys. Let's get the old armrest down. That's better. Oh, I forgot about those. I do like a nice armrest. Good night, stick but. would like to express his heartfelt appreciation to his amazing channel members. Alain Cyrle, Project MGTF, Rosette Chicks, Chef Daniel, The Greenwood, Typhoon Cat, Richard Mahon, Dinosaur Dad, Car Crazy Norwegian, Tricia Alderman, Mickey Jeffries, Jimmy Quinn, Neil Gibbon, Classic Wheels Wells and The Lovely Joe Cox. Your support means the world to him, your all fucking legends and they thank you from the heart of his bottom. Thanks also to everyone who supported the channel in other ways with super chat, super thanks or just by watching the videos and leaving your knob alone when the advert come on. See you on the next video. Oh, and I'm not wearing any panties.